Hi, it's Tom Gregory here, and welcome to this video where you'll discover how to set up a basic dashboard with Grafana, showing useful graphs to summarize the current state of a Spring Boot application. Once you've set up metrics for your application and can query an alert from them, when something goes wrong, you need somewhere to go to quickly get a visual overview of what's happening. We're going to run through an example of exactly how to set up Grafana for your application. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out the other videos in this series so you have an understanding of Prometheus. Let's get right into it. When you get woken up in the middle of the night by an alert, it might not always be obvious what the problem is. Imagine that the average HTTP request duration of your application has gone above a predefined limit of 5 seconds and you receive an alert. What's wrong? Who do you need to contact? Without more information, you're going to struggle to answer these questions, especially in an agitated, sleepless state. With a dashboard, we're trying to provide insights into how the application is behaving. In summary, it would be great if we could have a tool that can create graphs easily from Prometheus metric data, visualize data in ways that are most appropriate to the use cases, show graphs whatever time period we're interested in, create dashboards that can be viewed by others, and allow us to easily make changes. As you may have guessed, the tool you'll learn about in this video does all these things and more. Grafana is a service which allows you to configure whatever graphs and dashboards you need. It has the possibility to integrate with many different systems, but importantly for us, it can query Prometheus. As discussed in the part 2 video, Prometheus is a service which gathers all the metrics about an application and allows us to query them. Whatever queries you can run in Prometheus, you can also use to create graphs in Grafana. We're going to build on top of the example from part 3, where we had set up a Spring Boot application that generates metrics. Prometheus to scrape those metrics, and Alert Manager to send out alerts when any configured rules are broken. To extend this, we're going to create a Grafana configuration to add a Prometheus data source, set up a Grafana container using that configuration in Docker Compose, import a ready-made Spring Boot dashboard, and create a new graph to show request rate data over time. A link to the GitHub repository for this example is provided in the description below. In Grafana, a data source is simply a place where the data to generate the graphs will come from, in our case Prometheus. So let's create a file called datasource.yaml and add this configuration. This is a minimal configuration that just tells Grafana to create a data source of type Prometheus, pointing to our Prometheus URL. Remember that by default Docker Compose will expose the container name as a host name, which is why we can reference Prometheus as Prometheus 9090. Now let's tell Docker Compose to create a Grafana container. We'll edit docker-compose.yaml and add this section to the end. Here we're using the standard Grafana Docker image from Docker Hub. By default Grafana listens on port 3000, we're mounting a volume so that the configuration file we just created is provided inside the container in the location Grafana expects. Now we can run docker compose up and now Grafana is running on localhost 3000. The default username is admin with password admin. If we navigate to configuration data sources we'll see the Prometheus data source we just set up. There are a few ready-made Grafana dashboards available for Spring Boot applications. They use the default metrics that Spring Boot provides to give us some useful graphs to see how our application is behaving. The one I recommend is called JVM Micrometer. To import this dashboard, go to Create Import. Where it says Grafana.com dashboard, I'll type in 4701, which is the ID of this dashboard. Under Options, where it says Select a Prometheus Data Source, let's choose Prometheus from the drop-down and then select Import. We now see a whole load of graphs. 
Don't worry that the graphs don't seem to have much data because we've just started up our container and don't have historic metrics. The default time period is last 24 hours, but we can change this in the top right hand corner. Let's select instead last 15 minutes, and now we have some more interesting graphs to look at. We can also change the refresh rate of the graphs in the top right hand corner. Let's choose 10 seconds. You can see we have a wide array of different types of graphs here, including uptime stats, IO stats, JVM stats, and garbage collection stats. This is by no means everything we'll ever need, but it's definitely a good starting point. These graphs are good, but wouldn't it be nice if we could see the rate of requests to our application over time? As you saw in the part 2 video, it's easy for us to get this information from a query to Prometheus. For example, the following query will show us the rate of requests to the slash do it endpoint. So let's set up the graph now. Click the add panel button at the top of the dashboard. Select add query. We're now on the page where we can set up the details of the graph. From the query drop down menu, I'll select Prometheus. Where it says enter a PromQL query, I'll type in the query just described and hit enter. We don't see anything on this graph at first because we haven't generated any requests. I'll hit localhost 8080 slash do it a few times and wait for a graph to appear. I'm also going to change the time period to the last five minutes and I'll just have to hang on a while until that graph turns up. Let's set a few more properties on the graph. Enter slash do it in the legend text box, click general and enter request rate into the title text box, click the back arrow in the top left hand corner to go back to the dashboard. Now for the fun part, let's drag the graphs around and resize them until we have something that looks decent. I'll hit the save button to keep our changes. You've now seen how to set up a Grafana container that uses a Prometheus data source. In Grafana, you've learned how to use pre-existing dashboards to quickly get things set up and running, and also how to create simple custom graphs. At this point, it would be worth playing around with Grafana a bit more. Can you add another line to the graph we added for the request rate for actuator Prometheus? This was the final part in the series on monitoring a Spring Boot application. If you haven't already, check out the other parts to learn all about how to expose metrics from your application, Prometheus and Alert Manager. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see other videos on related future topics. Thanks a lot and see you next time on Tom Gregory Tech.